Assalamu alaikum viewers. Welcome and back to my channel. And thank you so much viewers for listening to me here today. And uh, I will discuss about Schneider brand Altiva 320 model VFD. I hope it will be very easy for you because I'll explain it very, very simple and easy method. You can see the picture in here, the Altiva, the Schneider electric Altiver model 320 and you can see the picture the more nameplate of the VFD. This is 7.5 kilo VFD and you can run it also the 7.5 kilo motor with this VFD and also you can run below 7.5 kilo size any kind of model without any problem. So I am requesting you to the, if you are first in my channel please subscribe my channel. If you like or love my tutorial please subscribe. You can see the my now you can see the I opened the VFD terminal cover for given the VFD connection terminal and I details here. This is showing log for the terminal cover and how you open this and I am just showing you and second one you can see that I'm already opening this. This is the second the terminal motor terminal and motor brake connection terminal cover. And you can see how I open this and this is the very simple. You can see this is the VFD input power and L1, L2, and L3, which I mentioned it to you for a bit of understanding. And that is another, that is the output of the motor connection terminal, T1, T2, and T3, or UVW. You can see there is no power in VFD because, uh, and you can see that there is no power in VFD because I'm not connected the input power of this VFD. So, so, uh, for a bit of understanding, now I'm just giving the input and three plus power for the VFD. You can see there is the first one is a L1 connection, the input power cable. And uh, second one, I, I had to put the, the brown color cable, that is the L2. And I will put the third one cable, that is the green cable, that is for L3. That means the 400 four, four zero zero volt, that means the 400 volts. I'm just applying in here for the that this is the BFD input uh, terminal connections. You can see the picture in here. This is the input power connections. So after input power connections completed, then I need to connect the output power or the motor uh, power connections. So before the output cable connections, I will give you first power of the BFD and then the check with the tester for the confirmed the, the power is available in here or not so you can see the picture and display of the ready signal and the tester of the input power you can see the tester is turn on and the indicate the signal of the rate signal that the power is available in the input power signal so you can see the uh, the display in the ready is already ready signals because first of all uh, i'm just make the programming before the starting the video because uh, I'm, i need to make the video is very smaller because if the very video is very bigger then you cannot see my, my, my channel so also the video so it should be larger also the, so much time is consumed so i'm just give the small time to full the video and just showing the you to how the make the program so uh, you can see this is the green this is the scroll down button and uh, another is c button the escape button you can scroll down and up and down from this button i will also indicate from the from my finger you can see the picture in here so this is the TFR this is the frequency maximum frequency of the 60 hertz and the ESC button and you can back to the escape button and again you can see this is the basic setting of the BFD. Uh, first of all you, you collect the motor data from the motor nameplate and all data you need to put this basic program setting for the Altiver 320 model. You can see that there is the LCP LSP that means a zero low speed uh, this is the ASP that means high speed. Low speed means zero frequency, zero hertz, and HSP means the frequency fifty hertz. Now you can see that there is the the two C, there are two wire connection or three wire connections. Uh, you can see there is the you can you can if you uh, want to run the three wire, you can automatically change it and, and the edit and and the escape and the save it. So in my system I have two wire connections. So TCC you can see there is the so uh, I am making sure the two wire connections for and save it. You can see there is the you can see the picture in here. Uh, this is uh, three point acceleration time and deacceleration time. What is the uh, starting 
uh, you can, if you want to run your motor very slowly, you can uh, you can in increase the acceleration time. Also, the if you want to slowly in your motor in your field device system, you can, you can increase the deacceleration de time. So this is this is the acceleration time and deacceleration time. If you want to increase the acceleration time, the slowly start and you to decrease this. Increase the decreasing time, they will slowly stop this model. So, this is the ITA that means the fifth, uh, motor maximum current of this model 15.2. You can uh, you, first of all, you know that the, the, uh, I am just mentioning here the 7.5 pillar VFD. So, 7.5 pillar VFD into uh, the full load current is 15.2 amps. So, I am just mentioning here for the test purpose. So, 10.0 ampere current for my system. So you can see there is a, the 14, uh, 14, uh, 1450 is the speed of the maybe you can see NSP is the speed of this PMD uh, of the motor and that is the NSP that 50 hertz this is the maximum frequency of the all the people and showing also already this is the basic parameter of the VFD and the NCO you can see the 15.2 already I'm describing the current of this motor select uh, selected current of this motor 15.2 amperes and back to the uh, again so this is uh, for the event that under follows this is the no no not internet connection this on you can see there is uh, another connections point that is the 400 volts you can see that the uh, us the under pole is the voltage of this vfd you must need to set the 400 because if you if you, your system is the 415 you can set your as per your design so my system is 400 so i'm just setting my as per my design so 400 so if, if you need to increase you can automatically increase from this button so i'm just fixing my 400 okay and save and there is the <coughs> pure and the seven but you can see i'm just told you to the before the starting the video there's a 7.5 kilo vfd so this is the end period this is the power of this vfd this is the 7.5 kilo motor also the drive <coughs> Uh, that is all of things that is the basic parameter setting of, uh, of this BMD. Uh, so th this is now the setting is ready. So I want to put the this is the basic parameter. I'm just few, uh, see you. So now we will go to the controlling uh, connection and the preset values. That is the main I, how I want to run the motor. This is the single command or double command or three or a preset value. This is the multi speed command or single speed command. So basically, I want to run this uh, VFD from um, the field device from the multi-speed command that is speed 1, speed 2 and speed 3. So that is, uh, I have to set the preset value of this, the VFD. You can see there, there's the configuration, the full, full setting and then you go to the second setting that is the fun APUN, fun setting. You go to, you must need to go the fun APUN, fun setting. Yeah, this is fun setting enter and go to the P double five. Yes, P double enter, enter and to P S two, P fifty two. You want to go to P fifty two, P fifty two, enter. You need to assign L I three, L thirteen, L thirteen. You must need to assign L thirteen or L twenty, uh, L. 12 or L13, L14, you can see that as per your design, so no problem. I'm just make sure that I, I'm just setting my uh, L, L13 and P54 is the uh, L14 to assign signal. And P52 is equal to L13 and P54 is equal to L14 assign signal. I'm just already assigned signal. Uh, uh, um, you can see the picture in here very clearly. L14.54 setting. So now I'm going to the SP2. Uh, that means that you need to send the frequency of this uh, speed. So here is mentioned that 30 hertz. So I am I'll change the value of my field device. So 33 hertz. Okay, 33 hertz for SP2. SP2 and save and back again and SP4. SP3 also, SP3 I need to set the value, SP3, SP3 is the 50 hertz, I want to, uh, I want to make it the 47 or 45 hertz, or 47 no problem, 40 hertz, 45 hertz, okay, in 7 enter and SP3 and complete it and SP4, SP4 is for 47.3 and save and back, 
uh, P55, P52 again even for recheck P52 and L L13 assign assign signal for L13 and P54 for L14 assign signal and SP2 is equal to uh, 33 hertz and SP4 is equal to you can see okay my program is done and now the system is ready so now I give the controlling connections so for the start signal you can see the picture in here so I'm just giving the connections the the 24 volt output signal uh, out with the controlling connections I'll give the connections from the red color red color cable for 24 volt signal DC and the connected 24 volt signal I already given the connection the 24 volt signal and one is for DI1 and one is for if you want to the preset signal or the multi-speed setting, so you must need to the 24 volt signal common to the DI1 for the run command. And then if you want to change the frequency, this is the DI1, DI2, DI3, DI4. Already I assigned SP2, SP3, SP4. So SP2, SP2 is equal to, that means the DI2. DI2 is equal to 33 hertz. You can see the I'm just check purpose. You can see the alarm is coming because I'm not connecting the output power of this motor. So if you not connected the output motor connections, the the BFD is not run because showing the alarm. So uh, I, I must need to give the connection, the motor connection. So I will stop this power connections and give the output motor connections and then show you again for the how the DI2 uh, preset value or the multi-speed signal is uh, starting and the drive is running. A motor is running also so thank you now now i'm just giving them motor power connections the e1 v1 and w1 you can see the picture i'm just connected the e1 v1 w1 red green and yellow signal and color cables please you can see the picture full video otherwise you cannot understand the detail of this video so I'm just connected of the motor power connection, the UV terminal. Oh, green color cable is not connected properly, so I need to open it again and then put it again. Need to pull it tightening, otherwise the problem. So the connection is done. Now the motor connection, I'll be given the motor connection before the video because oh, I need to small the video size. So I'm giving the terminal connection, so this is the pump so now i'm just showing you that this alarm is showing so i need to restart of this motor uh, bfd sorry bfd i need to restart of this bfd and then again turn on the start signal the multi-speed setting so you can see the picture now the system is running so i'm just put the task the signal touch the signal di2 start signal di2 you can see the picture very carefully i'm just giving the putting the signal the di2 terminal di2 terminal you can see the di2 terminal it means the 33 hertz will be run you can see the picture 33.0 hertz that means the sp2 that you can see the motor is also running you can see the very carefully motor is also running yes motor is stopped now again also the vibrid is stopped now so now i'm just giving the di3 signal that means the preset will have just 45 or 47 hertz yes that means the sp4 you can see sp4 the motor also is running you can see that very carefully motor is also running now is stopping now yes motor is stopped now that is all of things uh, here uh, including my videos so if you want to learn uh, if you uh, I, I started my video this is very simple and very easy for you so if you want to like my video please share and subscribe my channel please if you want to say, like a similar video I want to uh, if, please comment and share with the, with your colleague or friends so and comment me for in the future the next video so thank you so much for listening to me here today and it will be very easy for you for also my name as you can see that again for reset d2 d3 and d4 the individual frequency setting you can see 47.3 so thank you so much for listening to me here today again and thank you thank you so much Assalamu alaikum.